Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one more important feature in BigQuery, that is a BigQuery federated query. So in our last few videos, we discussed about a partitioning in query, how to create a partition table, how partitioning can improve the performance and reduce the cost. Then we discussed about clustering, then we discussed about the external table. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about federated queries. So this is most commonly asked questions in the interview as well as asked in the uh, data engineer certification exam that what is a federated queries so let's discuss about a federated query so what is federated query so federated query let you send query statement to alloydb spanner or cloud sql database and get the result back as a temporary table so let me explain in a simple word so federated query in bigquery is nothing but you can execute queries in bigquery on the these databases you can execute queries on alloydb data in bigquery you can execute queries on spanner data in bigquery or you can execute the query on database which is in the cloud sql so let's say suppose you have some data in your cloud sql database and you want to use a query for analysis then you can use a bigquery and you can simply create a connection and execute your query so whenever you query to the external database it use a external query function to send query statement to the external database so this is a kind of the theoretical concept of federated query just to remember two things here federated queries is nothing but it will execute queries in bigquery on the data which is available in alloydb spanner or cloud sql so these are the sources supported, Spanner is supported, Cloud SQL, AlloyDB and the SAPS data sphere is currently in preview. Okay, so let's now go to the Cloud Console and we'll see how we can create the federated queries. So before that we need one Cloud SQL instance. So we'll quickly create one Cloud SQL instance and we'll create uh, some dummy table in Cloud SQL instance. We insert some data and we'll try to create a connection in BigQuery to connect to the Cloud SQL data. Okay, so let's go to the Google Cloud Console now. So I am in my uh, Google Cloud Console now. So what I will do, I will first create one Cloud SQL instance and then I will try to connect from BigQuery to the Cloud SQL instance using federated query. So I will simply open a SQL and I will create one sample database there in the Cloud SQL which is MySQL engine I will create here so we will get some idea about the cloud sql as well so here we can create mysql postgres and sql server so i will start with the mysql so i will just click on create instance and i will try to choose mysql and create the minimum configuration to avoid the unnecessary cost because we just need it for the demo so i'll just go with the enterprise and the sandbox version so it will have the minimum cost okay instance id i can just give uh, PQ demo okay and the password I will let to generate okay so once generated I will copy this password somewhere in my notepad so I'll just copy somewhere I'll just create new file I'll paste here I will keep my password here okay so just for further use then I will choose single zone and I will just create instance okay so I'm just creating the cloud SQL instance with the minimum configuration so so this will take uh, around hardly 5 to 10 minutes to create this instance so let's wait for few minutes and I will be resume this video once the cloud SQL instance is up and running okay. so currently it is in creating state so it will take few minutes okay so it will take few minutes here so I'll just pause this video for few minutes now we can see our cloud sql instance is available so let's see uh, so this is available up and running so we have default databases so let's create one more database i will just create database called demo demo db okay and within this i will just create some sample tables okay so for this i will use the native cloud sql studio uh, so it will not allow to create using the root users let's check so we have to create one users so let me go to the users and just add one more user i will just give the name as name as app user i will give some password okay and simply add this user so once this user is connected i can use cloud sql studio
okay and now i can execute a query in cloud sql studio so this is my editor currently zero tables let's create one table what i will do i'll just get some queries from chat gpt uh, create table query for my sql sample employee okay i will just create sample employee table so it has given one i will just try to create this using this query so i'll just execute this query okay so table is created now let's insert some record so help to insert insert queries to insert we will just insert 20 records okay so it will just give query with the 20 records so just I am avoiding unnecessarily time writing the query because we have the chat GPT now and other AI tools so we can simply get it from the chat GPT okay I'll just get it copied and I will go here I will insert this data so let's execute executed let's now try to select so what is the temp, temp table name so it is employees okay so let me run yeah so we have this data now in our table so we just added some dummy data now what we have to do we have to get this data or we have to write a query on this table from the bigquery and that is how we use the federated queries in bigquery so let me just open the bigquery and let me show you how we can connect this cloud sql instance from bigquery to write our queries okay so if there are multiple databases then it will be helpful to use a uh, federated queries in BigQuery. So here you can see the option add data. So we have to use this add data and then we can go for MySQL option here and here you can see at the bottom Query Federation Cloud SQL for MySQL. I will click on this and now here you have to type the connection ID. So I will just uh, give the connection like ext con connection. Okay in friendly name you can give mysql connection name again you have to get it from the cloud sql so if you go to cloud sql i uh, will just open a new tab so in new tab you can get i can go here and get the connection name from either home screen or from the connection screen so in the connection screen you can see so this connection name we have to use so I'll just copy this and I'll put it here in the query okay database name so we have database name as I think app DB or demo DB demo DB okay so I will use this demo DB name okay database users name so either we can use which we created like app users or I will use a root and the root password we stored here so I will just copy this password okay and I will just create connection okay so once connection is created you will see that connection here okay in external connection you will see this connection okay so this is your connection now there are high chances it might fail let's see if we try to query so how we will query here so instead of select star from information schema we will just select star from employees because that table we already having right so i'll just write employees okay just try to see if it execute okay so it's gave error the external query failed lost connection to mysql server during running the query so we are failing the connection even though having the all these steps this is because of the missing permission so this error is not much accurate 
okay so what I can do now you can see the left side connection info the service account so get this service account okay and we have to give one additional permission to this service account so that it can connect to cloud SQL so I will just open IAM okay I'll just open a new tab and there I will try to give permission so with permission we have to give we have to give one role which is cloud SQL client so I will show you so just a grant access and I will just paste the service account which we copied and the role I will give as a cloud SQL client so I will just write SQL client okay and I will give this access save okay and now let's try to execute the same query again see you see all the data now and the error is gone you see the 20 records let's verify the first record John Doe so let's go here and go in cloud SQL studio yeah so first record John Doe then second Jane Smith Alice Johnson let's see if we have the same data yeah we have same data and it is easy to create the new table in BigQuery from this table okay so now you understood how we can so as we discussed so this is the external query function will be used this is your connection ID and this is your actual query okay so this is how we can use a federated queries to connect to the external database so let me know if you stuck somewhere if you have any question just let me know in comment section and I will try to help you out so that's it for the federated queries and we'll see you again with one more amazing topic in the next video.